Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you enjoyed my last video on bison, we got another one. We got Blanca. Uh, very awkward matchup, will we say. Um, I think this will help a few people. I'm trying to pick a few people requested Blanca. I'm trying to pick the ones that are a little bit sticky. Um, there's actually a very good Blanca player called Wolfgang who shared some tips on our Sagat forum. Um, I'm going to elaborate on some of the things he said. I've been playing uh, a couple of very good Blanca players, kind of about the ultra diamond leveling up. So I feel like I've got some good matchup experience. Um, and Wolfgang, if you want to check out his channel, he, he doesn't know me or anything, but I'm always uh, spreading the love. So check out his channel. He's got a really good Blanca guide if you want to see some of the setups and things. Um, and on that, it's always a good idea if you're trying to figure out matchups. Um, go to their channel. What what are they doing? What setups do they have? What are their meaties? Um, it's right there. It's all free. Um, very good tip if you want to figure out matchups. So let's dive right in to the king of the jungle. I guess one of the very first things we should go through, I've structured this video a little bit differently from the bison one. We'll go through normal setups, deep stuff, simple to more complicated. Uh, and then I'll tag a couple of matches on the end of me playing some higher level Blancas if you want to see how I dealt with the match. But one of the main things with Blanca is that your mind is important in the Blanca match. Uh, he is designed to be like this deliberately. And once you accept that, it becomes a hell of a lot easier to stop snapping your stick in half, doing wake up DPs, doing lots of reversals, getting frustrated. Um, because this is how the character's designed. He's meant to be like this. He's meant to be a mobility character. Hard to lock down, lots of options. A little bit, funnily enough, like M. Bison in, in, in some ways. Um, flying all over the screen. What's going on? I want to kill myself. Um, as soon as you get that out of your head, calm yourself down. The match becomes a lot more manageable. You start to see Blanca has to take some risks, actually a lot of risks, to get his offence going. So let's dive into some normal moves. Okay guys, now I'm going to be using Sagat for my demonstrations. But again, if you play any character, it doesn't matter. You can take this information and apply it to your character. One of the first things I wanted to mention, something very simple, but I think some people get confused, is that Blanca's slide uh, and Blanca's sweep are very different moves. I think Blanca gets away with a lot of sweeps. This is Blanca's sweep. This move. That's the sweep. The slide is not the sweep. Both moves are punishable, but this one here, the Sagat can actually punish it max range with a tiger uppercut. Um, you can do a regular sweep as well. A uh, bit of a tight punish, but you can do it. Other characters, faster sweeps, obviously. But it's important to recognise the difference in the moves, because this is not a sweep. That's a different move. That's called Amazon River Raid. Very punishable. You can actually whip punish it um, with a DP, probably, if you want it. Difficult in the heat of a match, the way Blanca works. Sweep is very easy. Um, but we'll get to why these moves are important later. Um, particularly the slide it is his main way into V-Trigger. But I wanted to point that one out first, normal move-wise. So, first move in the push, do not push uh, button section. Blanca's stand and medium kick. It's a double knee hit move. Um, do not push a button if you block this move. It's plus two on block. Um, you will get counter hit uh, if you are Sagat, only having a four frame light button. Um, I wouldn't say it's a super powerful move, but it definitely is one of these options up close. Um, I'll just show you an example here. Sagat will block the uh, standing medium kick and he will do a return jab and I'll also do a jab with Blanca. Blanca's uh, crouching light kick, I think, is also four frames. Um, actually, Blanca can trap you with a medium, probably, then, with that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 
yeah, probably can uh, with Sagat with plus two. Um, so, yes, don't go pushing buttons if you block the medium kick, the first one. The next move we're going to talk about isn't so much of a will he press, won't he press situation, but it's one of Lanka's um, tools that will open you up. It's his crouching medium kick. What we'll find out in the Blanca match is that the crouch blocking is very effective um, at dealing with Blanca's mix-ups because most of the time he's going to say he's going to hop over you or he's going to do some side switch. He's going to go low with that medium kick. Um, even with if you're trying to walk back out of pressure, medium kick. And of course his, uh, his specials, a lot of them are safe on block uh, or even plus. So it's uh, this move is more of an acknowledgement thing that you're going to have to protect your toes a lot in the Blanca match. So take a note of that. Next very important move we're going to talk about is Blanca's jumping medium kick. Uh, <laughs> if you, there's there's a meme, there's a Street Fighter meme. It's some it goes something like I DP'd it in four times and he jumped to fifth and killed me. This is Blanca. Um, anything that crazy that can happen will happen. Blanca launches a lot of attacks through the air so do not be surprised uh, if you anti-air Blanca three times with the sweetest DPs and he still goes for the cross up. This jumping medium kick this range here is extremely difficult if you play a DP character to deal with Blanca. So much so uh, and I'm not sure if this is some information other players would give you, but I would not DP Blanca from if he jumps in around here. I'd find a normal move that will deal with this jump up. What tends to happen in my experience with Sagat or any character with a DP is that because of the way Blanca moves around the screen so sporadically, balls, jumps, rainbow ball, slide, hop, you are not ready for these close jump ins like this. And what happens is your DP, your your twitch reactions will DP. Your DP will fly the wrong way, crush counter town. You're in the mixer. So in Sagat player's case, I'll set this dummy up in a second. Use a stand and heavy kick. If Blank is within this range, inside the head, even a jump back jab, jump back medium punch. I I would not DP unless you have Bonchan like anti airs and you can auto correct as he jumps across I would not um, be DP and th this is the DP range but as we'll find out later on I'm not even sure if DPs are a good option in the Blanca match too many things to screw with your spacing another thing on the jumping medium kick his V if you see him crouch like this be prepared um, for movement back forward or jump it's his three options so he, he can back hop away with the V skill he can obviously hop forward but the main one for um, a player like Sagat who Blanca is going to try and navigate the screen with the fireballs or any character again is the, the V skill hop so if you see Blanca crouch down like that in the head something's coming something is coming um, it could be this and you can stop the hop as we'll find out in a second but get ready for the anti-air if you see this move you can do it real quick um, sorry that's a different thing um, but if you uh, get ready as he crouches down that crouching medium kick is very hard to deal with and in the corner it's not on it traditional Street Fighter says do not cross people up put yourself into the corner Blanca will do that all day to you because you'll be whiffing DPs getting frustrated with the way the match is flowing and it's all over so yeah um, that jumping medium kick find a normal move that will deal with those really close jump ins and you'll find the Blanca match becomes a lot easier That's that was one of the keys for me uh, once I could deal with that close jump in the matchup got a hell of a lot easier Okay guys, moving on, electricity, um, on block, plus three, no push time again. Um, these situations are not super tough to deal with because of the space that is between you when Blanca does these things. There, there's a gap that is not quite...
quite within the throw range, although he can obviously walk up and throw you or hop. Um, but do not push uh, a button after you block electricity. Uh, you'll get counter hit like that. And try again. Yeah, and the EX version is plus six, I think, on block. Um, I'm not that good at pianoing, so uh, yes, do not push any buttons after blocking the electricity. In fact, if you want to take a, I wouldn't V reverse it. You see, can you see the space that opens up between us? Blanca actually has a block string, I think, where he can do the electricity normal, normal electricity twice. But the gap opens up. You can try walking back, and like in Wolfgang's video, there's a section there where he goes through the electricity. Uh, he will catch you with that crouch and medium kick, so um, I don't think it's a panic situation. You just have to know not to push uh, a button after the electricity. Hi guys, next move we're going to be dealing with is Blanca's EX Rainbow Ball, the one that travels across the screen uh, and lands him plus on block into the mix-up um, surprisingly not as difficult to deal with as you might think um, Sagat like you saw in my bison video remember I showed you how to deal with the head stomp with jump and medium punch exactly the same scenario again except I think Blanca when he does it close it's difficult to deal with, I'll show you me punishing it here and in my replays I do punish this move, uh, the Blanca player that I play actually noted how uh, well I was punishing this move because again it's kind of obvious with Blanca's movement if he moves back so I'd say he does the V skill hop back or the hop back you can fully expect the EX ball to come launching back at you um, we'll turn the replay on here but basically the the basics of it is that you meet blanket in the air with a normal uh, and you can quite easily stuff this move if you block it obviously don't push anything but another way of dealing with it is to jump back with that same normal and you will either avoid it or you might hit it out the air there are situations when he does it and if he's coming down your jumping normal might not get it but uh I'll show you here guys, it is definitely punishable if you're eyeballing it. Um, obviously I'm in training, in training mode, so I've set the dummy up, but really guys, if you are, are scouting this move, it's not as difficult to deal with as you might think. That's one when it was coming down. Here's the jump back. Um, and you might even get out of the way if you jump back. Not from this range, but just the one hit. There are situations when Blanca does land on the other side here. And you can sometimes kind of hit him out. But yeah, guys. Meet that move in the air. Read it. Read it. Read his intentions. If he's moving back, if he's doing a back hop, maybe a V-skill back, a jump back. Same type of thing as Bison. Um, trying to switch the momentum or tr trying to... Uh, pretend that uh, he's maybe, especially if you're a fireball character, he might be pretending that he's going to slide under a fireball when in fact he's going to launch himself across. So just situational awareness, guys, for that move, uh, and it's you can deal with it. Okay, next move we're looking for, guys, is the command grab. Blank obviously has a command grab that sends him across the screen. Again, in my opinion, uh, maybe perhaps uh, if you're a lower level player you'll think this is difficult but you can react to the command grab now sometimes uh, people often say in the game why would you jump back uh, I think it's natural twitch reactions I think the difficult thing about Blanca um, at least for me I'm dealing with these moves because I see the yellow flash so it can become sometimes difficult to tell the difference between the ball and the grab. Um, I'm usually pretty good at it, but I can see how um, people would just want to jump back. But even a jump back is fine. You'll escape the grab. A very good Blanca player I played the other day, actually, I was jumping out of the grab and he could still anti-air me on the way back, which was very cool. Uh, but probably because he was ready for me to react to it as well. But yeah, guys, the, the command grab be on the lookout for scouting. I don't really have many tips 
to avoid the command grab. It's just a situational awareness thing. Um, if you if you feel confident enough to jump up, you can. Um, jumping back will also land in a full combo sometimes, depending on what resources you have. Obviously. Um, but yeah. I actually find the regular version of the command grab harder to react to than the EX version, which is silly. But I think it's because I'm looking for the orange Blanca. Um, Blanca has some traps where he will make you block a normal and then go into the command grab. Can be a little bit tricky to uh, to deal with. But yeah, not much on that one really than just um, situational and awareness and reactions and make sure you get heavy punish if you do land it. Uh, next one is the LP bomb. Safe pressure tool. Um, I wouldn't say the matchup is uh, if you can't punish LP ball, the matchup's hard, and if you can't punish the LP ball, the matchup's difficult. Um, I think if you can't punish the LP ball, uh, it, it probably does make it difficult for Blanca. Um, but just because you can't punish the ball doesn't make the matchup. I actually think speaking from a Sagat point of view that this matchup is an even match uh, it's Sagat's patience and zoning versus Blanca's craziness but the LP ball basically if you cannot punish it still take your turn back Sagat would probably want to maybe do a shot uh, something like that so put Blanca in block stun you can try dashing forward he might do another one he doesn't have enough time to hit you so do something there. Do something. Even walk forward. If if he if he hit if he if you block the ball, take the space back. Maybe even a dash. Uh, we can't punish the ball. I, I figured out the other day we can actually can punish point blank ball with uh, ex shot watch here just quickly for the Sagat players. Um, it has to be point blank though or just about here I think works as well. But I don't know if I'll have to play more Blancas to see if Blancas actually ball you from that range. It's worth knowing. You can actually Kara uh, Kara Super I find that difficult to do on a stick, that car is super. Let me try one more time. Nah, can't do it. Um, automatic is very good at the car critical art, but um, you can do that. Unlikely to have stored that for that situation, but um, good to know anyway. But basically, LP ball, if you do block it, move forward, advance, take a turn, he can't launch at you again, um, really, really crazy Blancas may do uh, that regular ball then try and get back in with the rainbow ball because he's far away, so you have to scout that as well, but yeah, generally um, a good move for Blanca, but I wouldn't be dissuaded if you can't punish it, um, simply just take the space back. One more thing I forgot to mention about uh, LP ball is that Blanca has a gimmick I would definitely classify it in the gimmick category where he will do the LP ball but stop in front of you and then throw you. Um, you can hit that out. Um, in fact, I've done it before in a match lots of times. Something like that. He, he's trying to stop in front of you uh, and put you in some kind of weird mix up. Um, you definitely can deal with it. You can even DP that probably. In the heat of a match, if your if your reactions are, are on fire, you could probably be doing that. But yeah, just watch out for that LP ball stopping in front of you. Take a shot. Um, he's not going to do anything too crazy there. Okay, guys, just before we move out of the normals and kind of punishing section, every Blanca in the world is going to try and slide trigger you. It's just their way in. Um, for the V trigger 2, uh, usually they'll pick V trigger 2. V trigger 1, I don't really know much about. Um, I've mostly dealt with 2 myself, but I feel like Blanca players uh, and a little bit easier to deal with in the Bison Slide because the Bison Slide moves very fast. 
Blankus doesn't really move very far and it's a much easier to punish in my opinion. It's risky. Once Blanca has V-Trigger 2, the only thing you should be thinking about is keeping this distance and punishing slide. They're going to get greedy. Most Blancas I've played get greedy. They'll slide three or four times, even taking punishes, just to get that trigger active. Eventually, sometimes they'll give up and just activate it. They do activate it with the V-Skill um, Fierce, the down button, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But when Blanca's got V-Trigger, the, the awareness needs to go up to DEFCON 10 um, and start punishing them. I've recorded them doing it. Um, just be on the lookout. Like hyper aware. Hyper aware. That's what's going to happen. Um, but the neutral jump's a good one as well. Um, let's have a look. Missed them. But uh, yeah, that slide. They'll do. They will do that till the cows come home, until they get that trigger at. So just be on the lookout, guys, for that. Or that's what's going to happen. Now, getting on to some more of the more mixy uppy type things. Um, one of Blank is, as we talked about before, the jump and medium kick is extremely powerful, but he can cancel his. Uh, normal moves into the V skill into the hop, which gives him kind of like a pressure block sting cross up type scenario where he's he's looking for the hit, he doesn't get it, he does something else. Um, it might not look like Blanca takes a lot of skill to play, but I bet he does. I bet he does. This, this character's pretty complex outside of just the you know the low level spammy stuff, but this is where your um your kind of don't DP situation that I talked about comes in. So if you watch here, that's a difficult, that, that's the kind of things that Blanca players are going to do. They're going to make you, they're, they're looking for a hit confirm up, up front and then get you into that cross up. So that's when you want your normal. Um, obviously because I've got the dummy on, um, I'll probably will be able to DP it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You'll need to learn the auto correct to get stuff like that. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's make him work that. And that's going to be difficult in the heat of the match. That's why I recommend the bl with for Blanca find a normal button that will deal with him. Maybe jump back. Something like that. Um, that's the tricky part about Blanca, and he can also cancel that into the hop, which is going to go the other side. Then we got to start blocking low, so let's have a look at that one. So, next thing. Um, this ties into the block low versus Blanca. Now, what Blanca can do uh, is he can corpse hop you, um, or even hop across you as you're standing, um, and side switch you. But he's... In my experience, they're always going to go for the low confirm um, because you're going to block the cross up because he's crossed you over, but you're not going to block it low. You're going to be standing, um, or you are if you're you're kind of not paying attention or you don't know the match. I've set the dummy up here to do something, but the point of it is that the the hop can be interrupted. Two points here: block low generally against Blanca if you're suffering a lot of kind of side switching mix-ups. And two, the hop can be interrupted. So I've set a little kind of setup here. Blanca players, excuse me if this is not something you would use, but it's to get my point across. So what I've done is, he's done two jabs. So imagine you, imagine you block the cross up, and then you uh, you're walking back. You get hit low. So that's where the the blocking low comes in. Keep low. And then walk back out of the pressure if you can. And you won't get hit. The other thing is, you can actually stop the hop if you're quick enough. It's difficult. Um, probably something simple, um, like that. But you can stop it, even if you didn't do a full combo. If you just want to stop it, not a bad idea. 
is very punishable. Um, but watch out for them hoppy things. I guess my point there is that keep your, your block low uh, and be a scouting out for the hop um, to see if you can stop it. Now, another mix-up I noticed, and this was mostly the Blanca players I was playing. Um, because Blanca is a charge character, when he does his shimmy, uh, he's holding charge for the ball, so you uh, you will know that he has to walk back for the shimmy. Uh, I don't think the electricity reaches. Um, what this Blanca player was doing to me was he would jump in, with the medium kick if I didn't anti-air it, because let's face it, you're not going to anti-air everything Blanca does. Um, and he would set up throws, so he'd jump in, and then either if I take the throw, make me take the throw or throw. But he had this set up as well, which I've recorded um, here. So he would jump in, I'd throw, um, sorry, I mistimed it there. I'll show you what I mean. He'd jump in, I'd take, and he'd do that. So be aware um, when you jump in, uh, that tech situation is difficult. They've got a good shimmy there. Um, if you block the cross up, it can get a bit sticky. I would say don't tech. In fact, I know a lot of my matchup advice seems to come down to don't tech a lot of the time, but really, a character like Blanca, he, he's relying on you pressing throws pressing buttons, panicking, that is his game plan, it doesn't matter if you take a few throws or a few mix-ups, staying calm is so important in the Blanca matchup, so with those shim shimmy situations, maybe if he's crossed you up too late, you're in the blocks done, you didn't anti-air it, might be time to just take the medicine and take the throw there, uh, or maybe try a back dash or a jump out or something, um, yeah, but pressing tech I've found gets you blown up hard against Blanca. Guys, V2, I am going to point you in the direction of, again, Wolfgang has a complete video on how to deal with V2. But what we'll, what we'll say is, obviously, the activation point is important. He's going to go for that slide. Um, but being with Sagat, being a four-frame character, I think V-reversaling the electricity balls on, if you, if you block them, is probably a good bet. Don't push any buttons, basically, is the lesson here. If you get caught in the V1 cross-ups and mix-ups, they're not that hard to block, in my opinion, unless he starts throwing EX uh, in where he floats in the air. Again, you'll see that in Wolfgang's video. So, not going to cover something an excellent player has already covered in depth with uh, a really good video. So, I'll, I'll link it here for you, though, guys, for the V2. So guys, before we go into the replays, um, just a couple of final closing comments. Um, Blank is a hectic character. Staying calm is absolutely vital in the match. Um, I know you want to tear your hair out. I know it's frustrating. But really, with the damage multipliers in the, the game now, it's very difficult to go getting frustrated at Blanca with DPs, reversals lots mashing lots of buttons like the good Blanca player that I've been playing uh, has mentioned a lot of Blanca's things look fake but they're in fact real anything involving a hop when you're knocked down on the ground anything involving a reskill cross up it's going to hit you meaty so as a, a kind of basic rule if you've been hit block it out um, if you're blocking obviously take your tons on some of the buttons I've showed you um, Anti-airing, vitally important, probably more important than the ground game, um, <laughs> and that's Blanca really, the, I think if you can keep him out of the skies with your normals, again, if you have a DP, you make sure you know that it's going to land, or you're going to be in a lot of pain, uh, find a, a good set of normals to deal with An Blanca's varying attacks, watch the screen positions, watch when he's ducking down for that jump up, um, the hops and generally just don't panic if you, if you get bodied and rolled one round it's okay and, and there will be rounds when you feel like you have completely outplayed the Blanca player and you just die you get hit by V1 you get crossed up, he does a reversal something happens, you're mad at yourself that's just Blanca sit down, take a breather 
go again uh, and you'll learn this is a matchup you need to know to enjoy it really if you don't know this matchup it's hell on earth you will not enjoy it at all you'll just you'll be stuck in that rut of hating the game so um, have a look at these guys and I hope that helps you out round one fight Sagat win. Round one. Sagat. Sagat.